Right. I'm kidding. <laughs> Where are so, you from? I'm from Boston, but nice. from Dubai. Oh, amazing. Oh, cool. <laughs> but yeah, so this these characters are. Sorry, we're just one second. Still we're just formatting the cards. I don't know. Formatting cards. Cool. Yeah. How was the, your concert in London? Oh yeah, uh, we did two. The first one was cool. The second one was our best cool. ever. Like it was really really fun. Awesome. Yeah, the crowd was um, insane. Yeah, it was really great. Have you been to see them? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not internationally yet. Like, hey, it was our yeah. first internet. Well, we've done Canada, but you saw us in Canada. I did. Yeah, you did see us internationally. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I'm their biggest fan. I'm yeah. secretly <laughs> going to every show. <laughs> so these characters are, you know, incredibly complex, and this show is not one to shy away from the most difficult topics imaginable, and that's part of what makes it resonate. But as actors, how difficult is it for you to find your way into these characters, and more importantly, find a way back out? Hmm. Good question. I'm gonna Jump start on that in off. There. Yeah, because I think I had, I mean, 13 Reasons Why season one was my first job, so it really was like the first time that I'd ever had a character and the first time I'd ever gone through that process. And I think what was so interesting and I actually think conducive to the storytelling of season one was that it was a TV show. So for me, um, you know, I went in with kind of my version of Hannah and then I kind of workshopped it a little bit with Tom McCarthy, um, who directed the first two episodes. And then over the course of six months and over the course of like telling her story, you just build up more and more, whether that ca whether that's characteristics or understanding or you, you have, you br you're able to like kind of deepen the relationships between your character and the other characters. Um, and I think that was something that for me, I, th I think that's what kind of happened for me in, in season one was just, it was a build up of like continually learning and developing the character. Um, and then when we, when we finished the season, um, I mean, we kind of went straight into press and then sort of back into season two. Actually, I didn't, I, I, I went into press and then I started filming uh, a film called Love, Simon, uh, which I think for me was a really wonderful experience because um, it was so different to 13 Reasons Why and, and so full of joy and I was able to play a different character. So I think that kind of, that took me to, a, you know, a different character. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I feel like my response would be boring. It, it's, I, I, I'm similar to Clay in certain ways. And, and I mean, it's, I, I'm pretty good at, um, I think going home every day and separating myself from the work and just kind of shutting it off until the next day. And um, so getting into it and getting out of it, I try not to get too involved in the process so I can stay, you know, make sure that I stay Dylan. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So what was the most fulfilling part of going back to this world and going back to these characters? For me, the most fulfilling part was getting to spend time with all these guys again. Like it was great to go and, um, you know, I don't particularly enjoy filming away from home. I like to be home. So, and we film in, I mean, she's really far away from home. When we shoot, I'm not as far. But, uh, you know, so what makes it comfortable for me is just being around, we, we all have such great friendships and relationships now. So just being around each other is really great. And also when you become so invested in a character after, that was the chair, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, when you become, <laughs> So invested in a character after six months of, of like living with him, like in season one, I was just really curious and interested to see what happens with him next. And I feel really attached to Clay in that way that I just feel like if I don't, if some of Clay's journeys aren't complete for him, then they're not complete for me. Then like Dylan isn't complete for me. I like have to complete some, I'm not making sense, but does that make sense? It makes sense. Okay, I'm great. with you. Thanks, thanks. We're on, <laughs> cool. We're both in that tired yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. How about for you, Catherine? Um, I totally feel you lost me in in your in your my chair movement. In your, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I totally forgot that question. But most, I, yeah, most fulfilling part of going oh, back. Got it. Yes. No. 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 I I agree with the See, first part of what you said. Because it didn't make sense. So you're like, what no, was no, the question? It made sense, and the chair happened. But um, <laughs> I I think for me, I have to agree. Like coming back for season two, it was it was uh, very different for me as as a character than than season one. So I think for me, like one of the most fulfilling and um, exciting parts about coming back was being around, you know, people that we worked with and, and particularly this cast and this crew, I think we all went through such a unique and, and incredible experience with season one that we have just a really great kind of camaraderie and, and friendship and, and I really enjoy hanging out with everyone. So it was nice to kind of be reunited again. And also I think, um, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm really grateful that we were able to come back because I think what's important was to continue the discussion from season one and, and make sure that we answered questions and, and followed people because there is so much story um, after season one to be had. Do you feel that the, the reaction that the show got, both, you know, positive and negative, shaped the way that you approach the next season in any way? From what, I, from what I believe, I think, you know, they definitely take everything into account, but I think that no matter what, in season one, you know, we set out to make, we set out to tell uh, an honest, truthful, unflinching story, both um, on the screen and within the script. And, uh, and I think that if we didn't try to continue doing that in season two, we wouldn't, there wouldn't be a point of making the series, because that's what the series is. Um, and it, and it'd, it'd be a little, I think, um, a little dishonest to, uh, the show's fans and, and everything. I think like we, we've set out to tell this very truthful story and we need to keep being as honest as we can. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, like, it's, it's, we just still are telling the story we think we need to tell. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Dylan put it pretty, pretty spot on, I think. Yeah.